Hello everybody, thanks for watching this video. Uh, today I just want to share my thoughts about the Laowa 65mm macro lens. Uh, this allows magnification up to two times and you may not think that that's a lot but some of the images that I'm going to show you towards the end of this video are really zoomed in and I mean I was not expecting it to be that magnified and so I'm super happy with the the quality of the lens and you can see in this part of the video here I do have a Velo Canon um, hot shoe cable that allows me to run TTL with my Godox flash that is made for my Fujifilm X-T4. Um, I did make that little diffuser that you see on there. I used some art craft foam like people use for making like body armor for like the Japanese animation you know people that go out there and do cosplay and stuff like that uh, I do have a little Manfrotto tripod that I'll be using in this video and I did use a wire in the back of the foam to give it some rigidity and then I put two pieces of diffusion material and the reason I did that was to basically make the light less specular and more diffuse. And so that way you don't get um, hard light off of the subject of whatever you're shooting. It's kind of like a cloudy day when you're, you know, everything's just kind of soft. And then, of course, the light source itself is huge compared to the subject, you know, shooting macro. So right now I just got to the location and I'm just kind of looking around trying to see what I can find. And one of the things that I love about macro photography is that there are like these miniature worlds that you're going to find, you know, anywhere. And so we just parked next to this park, just walked out here and I just started looking around. And of course, there's a flower and, you know, this flower is pretty big for a macro type of shot but I'm gonna pull it up on the screen here in a second and you're just gonna see how detailed this lens is I think I was shooting at f8 was my aperture and of course the uh, shutter speed isn't that relevant because I'm overpowering the Sun with the flash and of course this is actually in the shade but the reason you want to shoot with flash is so that you can freeze the motion if you end up trying to shoot this without any flash outdoors, the wind is going to be moving those uh, flowers around and you're going to get blurry shots. So, I mean, look at the detail right here. It's just absolutely crisp. Uh, this little insect right here, you almost couldn't see it with your eye. I mean, it's probably two millimeters or so wide maybe three millimeters it's a tiny tiny insect that you know smaller than your pinky nail and it was on this little tiny flower and i just set up the tripod and used the flash and he didn't seem to mind that the flash kept going off but it's these little miniature worlds that you can find with your macro lens that i absolutely love and I'm typically a portrait photographer, so taking portraits of these little miniature things is, it's fun. And I hope you guys get some inspiration from this and go out and try it yourself. I definitely highly recommend the Laowa 65mm macro lens for mirrorless cameras. I think they have a 60mm for full frame. Uh, but I currently shoot with the Fujifilm X-T4 and it's one of my favorite cameras of all time. And now I'll just let you end the video with some quiet music and some smooth drone flights. Have a great day.